MetaMask could be digging its own grave here, everybody. I know MetaMask is our favorite crypto wallet. It's a self-sovereign wallet where you hold your own keys, you own your own coins. It's a real crypto wallet, a real DeFi decentralized wallet. And why? Because you own your own seed words, not a centralized exchange. So I always tell people to use a wallet like MetaMask if you want to do crypto the right way. However, MetaMask has signaled some things that I don't really like too much. They've got this weird little button right here, this little buy and sell button. It probably wants you to KYC yourself and associate your address with your identity. I don't like that. That's the opposite of why crypto was invented. They default you to the Infura RPC node like I talked about in my last video. If you haven't watched that video, go watch it right now. Again, not the end of the world. We can still live with that. You know, we're still fine probably even if we don't change our default URL. We're on Pulse Chain anyway. Pulse Chain is real crypto. Pulse Chain is real DeFi, real freedom of speech. The Pulse Chain RPC URL that it defaults you to is not corrupt and owned by JP Morgan. But the Infura node is owned by JP Morgan. Seems a little fishy. I don't really love the fact that JP Morgan can potentially tie my IP address to my crypto addresses. Now again, that assumes I'm not using a VPN. VPNs do help. But that was strike two. And what's strike three, you might ask? Well, when you go to swap inside MetaMask, okay, first of all, you should never be using MetaMask swap. Why? They charge you a 0.75% fee on top of the gas fee you're already paying. They charge you an arm and a leg. Never, ever, ever be swapping through MetaMask anyway. But even if you did want to pay MetaMask extra for no reason, if you tried to swap within MetaMask and select all of our favorite tokens, Hex, for example, look, you can't select it. They even show it to you. It's rude. It's like right in your face. They're dangling their power right in front of you. Okay, look, they're like, oh, look, you can see the Hex token, but you can't even click on it. So they know you want to click on it, and they're not even letting you click on the real Hex token. Okay, this is Ethereum Hex, all right? Now, this is not a real issue. As we know, we've got tons of other backup options. CowSwap, we've got 9inch, we've got swap.hedron.pro. Plenty of places to buy your Hex on Ethereum. Many more places to buy your Hex over on Pulse Chain. We've got PulseX.com, the premier decentralized exchange on Pulse Chain. But I just don't like this. I don't like that they're censoring and gatekeeping and being a middleman, which they are not supposed to be. And they're just taking a page out of Uniswap's playlist Uniswap has already bent the knee. Uniswap charges you a fee. They manually gatekeep Hex. They're moving towards full KYC with their Uniswap X, Uniswap V4. I don't care what they tell you now. They're telling you, though, they're still decentralized. It always starts with that, okay? It starts with, oh, KYC is optional. And one day, guys, one day it's going to happen overnight. They're going to force everybody to KYC. And MetaMask is no better. Now, look, guys, don't be scared. Don't freak out. You can still use MetaMask. I still use MetaMask, okay? I still use MetaMask and it works totally fine, but it doesn't hurt to get familiar with a new wallet. And the new wallet we're going to be sharing today is called Rabby. Rabby has a security focus. That's R-A-B-B-Y. Sounds like rabbit. Okay. It's an alternative to MetaMask. That's basically the same thing. I'm going to show you how to switch from MetaMask to Rabby. It's very, very simple. It's very, very quick. You just take your seed words from MetaMask and you import them into a new wallet. Let's hop over to Rabby.io. All right. Why am I picking Rabby? Well, it's been around for a long time. It's got a good team. The code is open source. It's security focused. And look, it's been audited. Audited open source. There's a desktop version, which is actually pretty awesome. The desktop version is cool. But there's still an extension, a browser extension for Chrome. So if you use Brave or Chrome or Safari or Firefox, you can do the same browser extension just like MetaMask. It's going to work almost the same way that MetaMask works today. Now, you don't have to get this wallet right away. I'm not telling everybody, go out and ditch MetaMask and get Rabby. But one day, when they come for your MetaMask wallet, okay, one day you want to be prepared. You want to know how to take your keys from MetaMask into any other legit wallet. The hard part is going to be finding a legit wallet that's safe and secure. So I'm starting you guys off with Rabby. There's other wallets I have my eye on, but they need to stand the test of time, okay? The Lindy effect. The longer something's been around, the longer it's probably going to be around in the future. That's all the Lindy effect is. Rabby has been out for a lot longer than all the alternatives, all the Pulse Chain specific ones. There's some new ones popping up, but rabby has been around for a while. It works on all blockchains and it supports Pulse Chain. I like that Rabby supports Pulse Chain. I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's very easy. Pulse Chain is already in Rabby by default. They're not all weird about it like MetaMask. MetaMask makes you feel like you're on some weird alternative network, even though you're not. You know, let's go to PulseX and just to prove this new Pulse Chain. Look, they don't even have the logo in here. Right? They don't even support the Pulse Chain logo. So they make you feel like you're going to some random blockchain. You're not. You're going to Pulse Chain. 
All right, I just don't like that. They make you feel like, oh, look, Paul's Chain. What, what is this Paul's Chain thing? They, they don't even show you the logo up here, so they make you feel like you're doing something bad. Look, I just don't trust them, okay? I can smell it from a mile away. I know what centralized, corrupt, stupid middlemen look like and smell like. They smell bad. They're stinky. Now, look, they also have a mobile wallet in process, but if you've been following me for any time at all, you should know that I don't like mobile wallets. Look, would you want to walk around with your entire life savings in crypto on your phone that you walk around with every day? What if you get mugged? Okay, what if you leave it on the train? You lose your phone all the time. If you took my course, HexPassiveIncome.com, you'd know all this stuff already. Also, if you've been following me for a while, you understand basic crypto security 101. So use the browser extension or use a desktop wallet. Never, ever, ever keep your primary crypto funds on a device that you carry around with you every day. And you connect to public Wi-Fis. Come on, guys. You know better than that. Or you should. So how is Rabi different from MetaMask? Well, it's multi-chain. Like I said, they support Pulse Chain right out of the box. It's security focused, so it might look a little bit different, guys. I'm just warning you, it's going to look a little bit different, so don't be scared of the new thing, okay? It's going to just a new piece of software. All the buttons are essentially the same. You still connect to every website the same way that you do with MetaMask. You click the buy and sell buttons, the same as you always did, okay? But it's going to maybe share with you some more information, and the information is going to be in different spots. And it's going to take a little adjustment period, like with any new program. You just got to realize where all the buttons are, where all the data points are, it's a little bit different than MetaMask, okay? It's a new thing, but new things aren't always bad. So look, it actually favors security over user experience. Now the experience on here is actually pretty good. You get a lot more optionality and functions. There's a lot I like about Rabi. It's, it's actually really awesome, and MetaMask doesn't have that. So they've built with a security first. It doesn't mean that user experience sucks. It means that they were thinking about security first, and then user experience. Get Rabi Wallet, download Rabi, connect, download for Chrome, okay? We're just going to add this to Brave, all right? We're going to add the extension. I've got Brave, you might have Chrome, whatever. And it downloads automatically. You don't have to do anything at all. It'll just put it, look, Rabby Wallet has been added to Brave. That's step one, okay? Step one is you got to download the extra wallet, the additional wallet. Now, step two is you go to your MetaMask, all right? You go to the settings over here. Look where my mouse is. Go to settings. Then go to security and privacy, security and privacy, and reveal secret recovery phrase. Reveal secret recovery phrase. Now, you should know that this is dangerous. So you have to answer some questions. Look, if you use, if you lose your MetaMask seed phrase, MetaMask cannot help you. You should know this already. And then it says, write it down or engrave it on metal. Do not connect it anywhere on the internet. You should know this already, especially if you took hexpassiveincome.com, the course, link in the description below. And if you haven't, if you're a very, very beginner, if this doesn't even make sense to you, you should be starting off with something like a course that could save you hundreds of dollars in mistakes and months worth of time in the learning process. Now, I've got all this content, all these previous tutorials on past videos, but HexPassiveIncome.com, it structures everything nicely. You can always refer back to it rather than do a consulting call with me. People ask me for consulting calls. The course has everything packaged nicely, structured, sequential. You can always refer back to it. All the links are there. But anyway, one of the things I tell people all the time is write your seed words down. Never, ever, ever copy and paste these to anywhere connected to the internet, all right? So we're going to click Continue. And look, it asks you if anyone, even a support agent, asks you for your secret recovery phrase. It even tells you guys, what is the answer? You are being scammed. <laughs> you are never, ever, ever supposed to be asked for your secret recovery phrase. Say so you're being scammed. Click continue. Okay. Now you're going to have to enter your wallet password one more time. And you hold this down to reveal your secret recovery phrase. So click and hold on this. And, and here we go. That is your secret recovery phrase. So I'm going to copy this to the clipboard right here. Click copy. Now, for the sake of the example, I'm just going to copy and paste this to a little sticky note right here. The sticky note's not connected to the internet, but really you should be writing this down on a piece of paper. When you copy and paste something, you're still at risk. Okay, what if somebody's tracking your copy clipboard? All right, you never know. But this is a, this is a sample wallet. This is not even a wallet that I use. So we're going to just copy and paste this to the, to the sticky note, not connected to the internet. Okay, now we're going to hop over to Rabi. Remember, go in your plugins up on the top, and you can see now we've got MetaMask and Rabi in my browser extension plugins up on the top. So, click on the Rabi wallet now. Rabi's going to open up. It says, access all dApps. Click next, get started, and you can just press import my MetaMask account. Or you could click import seed phrase. Th this button and this button are the same exact thing, all right? If I import my MetaMask account, first I have to make a new password, okay? Make it something, you make it something safe, make it something you'll remember. This password is important 
but your seed words are even more important. All right, click next. And we're going to import a seed phrase. The seed phrase lets you import all of your addresses because if you had a MetaMask account, chances are you might have more than one crypto address. You might have more than one public address. So all your public addresses are connected to the single seed phrase. So every public address has a private key associated with it. And if you wanted to bring in public addresses one by one, you could import the private keys one by one. But if you want to just bring all of them over at the same time, that's probably what you want to do. You click import seed phrase right here. All right. And it's very simple. You can paste your entire secret recovery phrase in the first field. So I'm going to go back to my notepad. I'm going to copy this to my clipboard, click into this first field, and then paste right here. Look, it pastes all my words right there. Click confirm. And here is where you go ahead and select which addresses you would like to bring over. So again, remember, you might have a whole bunch of addresses all derived from those same seed words. I'm just going to bring over the first. Maybe let's just bring over number two and three as well. Now, if you're not seeing the addresses, it, it automatically defaults you. It lets you go up to 50. If you've got more than 50 addresses, okay, you can click on advanced settings up here in the corner. And you could just say, if you want to see more than addresses one through 50, you can make this number, let's say 10. Okay. And if you make this number 10, it's going to show you addresses 10 to 59. All right. So for whatever reason, if you have more than 50 addresses, you just click confirm and this will start you at the 10th address and it'll go bring it up to, you know, address number 59, for example. Now, most people probably have less than 50. So we're going to start back from square one. We're going to start back from place number one. Okay. So remember, I'm bringing over not these. Okay. I'm going to bring over number one, two, and three. That's it. Click done. And now look at this. I can pull up my Rabby wallet. And I can see, here we go. I've got all my assets in here. I can click on this. I can click on this right here and I can see all of my assets on both different blockchains. Look, I've got two hex over here on the Ethereum blockchain. If I click Ethereum and I've got 1000 pulse X over on the pulse chain blockchain, I can toggle my networks like this, or I can view all of them at the same time. Now, I know it's different. It looks different visually than MetaMask does. I actually like it better. You'll get used to it. It might take a day or so just messing around. So play around with this. Look at where all the buttons are. Look where your addresses are up here. Okay, here's all your addresses connected to the single seed phrase that you just imported. You can copy your address right up here. You can add another address if you want to up here. Every time you want to import a seed phrase, you just click right back up here on the top. Okay, if you want to add more addresses. But that's how you bring it over. You've already done it. Congratulations. So you know what's pretty awesome about Rabby? Let's say I want to connect my wallet right here on app.pulsex.com. I can connect MetaMask. I can go open my Rabby, okay? And look what it says in the lower right-hand corner. Right now, my MetaMask is still in use and my Rabby is banned. I can click this button to flip. I can flip and I can say, now Rabby is in use and MetaMask is banned. Now, this is only coming up because I've got both wallets in here. Look at my plugins. Look at my Chrome plugins right now. I can just now delete MetaMask at this point. All right, now you should have your seed words written down on paper, but I can go ahead and delete MetaMask so that Rabby will always be my default wallet. But what I just did over here in Rabby is I made it so that if I click on this little pullout menu over here, Rabby is in use and MetaMask is banned. And I can flip back to MetaMask if I want to, but I don't want to. Now look what's really cool over here on app.pulsex.com. It's not connected yet, but that's because I'm on the Ethereum blockchain. All of these other networks are automatically loaded by default. And look what happens if I search for Pulse Chain. Pulse comes right up here. Okay, so I can just go ahead and connect to Pulse Chain. I can refresh. Let's try refreshing the page. Let's connect the wallet again. Look, Rabby Wallet comes up now right here. So you should see Rabby compatible with most of the important apps that we like to use over on the Pulse Chain network. So instead of clicking MetaMask now, you just click Rabby Wallet. It's going to open up right here. Now look, when you connect to a website, it's basically going to give you the same MetaMask pop-up. But again, it looks a little bit different. It looks a little bit different, okay? So to connect to this app, just click connect right here, and you're connected from Rabby now. Remember, you've got both. You've got Rabby and MetaMask. So if you want to just delete MetaMask, you can feel free to remove the Chrome plugin. You can go ahead and click here and say remove from Chrome, remove from Brave. As long as you've written down your seed words, make sure you always write down your seed words. If you haven't written them down on paper, offline, somewhere safe, laminate them, write them on metal, you can always re-upload them onto Rabby. Or if you want to go back to MetaMask one day, you can always upload them back to MetaMask as well. It's a very simple process. And look, it breaks down all of your different assets on Pulse Chain, on Ethereum. You can dive into this. You can filter by different blockchains. I'm assuming most of you are only going to have Pulse Chain assets and maybe some Ethereum assets. Like I've got some eHex over here. I've got some Pulse X over here. What's a different website that we go to pretty often? Go.hex.com, right? Let's say you want to stake some hex. 
Well, it's the same exact process, okay? You gotta connect your wallet, all right? Connect your MetaMask account right here, just like you always do, and the pop-up comes up, except this time it's Rabby, it's not MetaMask. It looks exactly the same. We're gonna go ahead and connect, and you can go flip-flop between Pulse Chain mainnet, Ethereum mainnet. If I wanna connect to the testnet, I have to go to more, and I actually have to go down here and enable testnets. So you can enable testnets if you, for some reason, wanna go over to, back to the Pulse Chain testnet, but we don't really care. It's easy, all right? Pulse Chain, Ethereum mainnet, Pulse Chain mainnet. Rabby will switch automatically for you in your wallet right here. Look, now I'm on Pulse. Look right here. If I go back to Ethereum, go back, open my Rabby wallet, now I'm on Ethereum. So I could either switch on the website itself if it offers that option. Go.hex.com offers that option. Or I could just switch within my Rabby wallet. So if you're not connected, always make sure you're connected to the right network. Luckily, Pulse Chain comes up automatically. And it's really nice and easy. Go.hex.com, app.pulsex.com, all your other favorite DeFi websites. Rabby is compatible with almost all of them. It should be all of them. And if your wallet, if whatever app you're trying to use is not compatible with Rabby, look, you might want to think twice about using that app in the first place. All right. The majority of safe apps should be compatible with Rabby wallet. It's been out for a while, open source, audited. It's pretty safe. Okay, guys. Look, let's go back and try to connect to PulseX. Okay. Connect wallet. We'll click Rabby. It automatically connects. And if I want to disconnect from any website, I just go down here, click this little disconnect button right here where my mouse is. Now I'm disconnected. I can just connect again as much as I want. You can see right here the site popularity. Connect this right here, it's okay. And I can go trade any coin for any coin. Let's say I wanna trade 10 PulseX for uh, two PulseX. It's the exact same process as it always is. Enable PulseX. You can go ahead and click sign the transaction, but I don't have any gas in my wallet. So I can't do that right now. Just know that transactions might show you a little more data, might be a little more confusing, but it actually gives you more optionality and it explains what's actually happening on the blockchain more accurately than MetaMask. So I think you're going to actually learn to love Rabby, and one day, who knows, maybe Richard Hart will make his own personal wallet. He's hinted at that in the past. I would definitely be interested in shifting to that wallet if and when it comes out one day. But for now, Rabby is a good option. Keep an eye on wallets like internetmoney.io. You know, as that wallet, you know, gets a little bit more history under its belt, a little bit, a little bit of a track record... I'll be making videos about all different alternative wallets as well. But Rabby, guys, Rabby is safe. MetaMask is bending the knee to the powers that be. Rabby is a safe, friendly, rabbit-themed wallet. You know, it's audited open source. So that is how you export your seed words from MetaMask into Rabby Wallet. More security, more protection, better user experience even, more compatible with Pulse Chain. Uh, Rabby's got a whole bunch of features that I think you're going to like. NFTs, gasless top-up. You can even revoke token approvals. Here's another cool security feature, guys. Approvals. If you connected to a bad website that you think might be a scam, go and look at what you've approved on your token approvals. I don't have any up here, but you might see something sketchy on here. And you can go ahead and revoke approvals right from the wallet without having to go to a different website. I think that's a pretty good feature. There's really nothing else you need to know. It plays nice with Hex, plays nice with PulseX, all the Pulse Chain stuff that we know and love. If you found this valuable, like the video, share it, leave a comment subscribe. It helps the algo. It helps Pulse Chain go viral. Okay. And again, if you're brand new to crypto, if none of this makes any sense, I've got a course out that's geared specifically for you, hexpassiveincome.com. If you don't know anything about crypto, I'll teach you all about security, all about setup, what you need to download, how to stay safe, how to have the right mindset, how to do all kinds of passive income strategies, yield farming, hex staking ladder, all kinds of stuff. You're going to feel confident doing crypto the right way. I honestly wish I had something like hexpassiveincome.com when I was starting out in crypto. So learn from me, learn from what I did right, learn from what I did wrong. So if you want to get the course, use code bear market for 25% off at checkout. I'll see you on the next video.